Hello there. I'm Elliot, and welcome to the storyboard. What the hell is this, I hear you asking? Well, I aim to answer that and more in this here video. So, welcome, client, friend, potential client, random person on the internet. You have stumbled upon a timeline, a storyboard. So, this is what your this is what your coaching is going to look like. I'm a very visual person. Now, if you are a potential client and you've you've just been sent this board, you're probably somewhere over here. We've just done a chemistry session, perhaps, um, and we might have even run through the roadmap um, together. Uh, to how we get you to finding your flow. It's pretty catchy, isn't it? Um, or you might be waiting for your set first session, or you might have just done your first session, and you might be on to the homework section. This is the flow of my coaching. Now, uh, how this works is very simply we go from left to right. So. Let's say we're about to do our first session. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna open this and we can both have it open at the same time. And I'm going to come in here and I'm gonna type your notes up in the session. You see if you zoom in, you can read it. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, great, I've typed in session notes up. Now you can see this, I can see this. And then when the next time you log in, which should be the next day, you're going to come and find you're onto this bit. You're onto the homework, the between session part where there's a lot of colors. I love colors and so on and so forth. So let me just explain each part very briefly um, because this is really gonna form the foundation, the bedrock of your coaching. We are gonna duplicate these each and every time. So if you zoom out, there will be, you know, Every session, there will be another session, and whoops, grab the wrong thing there. There will be another session and another homework. And so you'll have 12, I don't know, 6, 12, 18, loads of these, and you'll be able to look back over the storyline of your coaching program and progress. This will be the thing that you take away, and you can go back to over and over and over again because life is generally a series of fairly repetitive problems or at least they have repetitive core issues that we are going to work on um, and you're going to have loads of resources in here um, you're going to have your own reflections uh, on what worked for you and what didn't you're going to have your roadmap to how you live the good life to how life works for you so that the next time you get stuck and you don't have me or you don't have a coach you can just jump straight back in and figure out what worked for you then. So I'm not going to go into anything in too much detail. This is the roadmap. We might have discussed this already. Why, what, and how. Anytime you want to do anything that is a conscious action and not just an unconscious decision, if you get stuck, if it's not just flowing, then you need a why, what, and a how. Why am I doing it? Does it align with my values, my mission, my vision, my strengths, my weaknesses, my limiting beliefs, my sense of worth? How did I come to this decision? Is this truly, was this a conscious decision or did I just make it unconsciously? You know, we make 38,000 decisions a day, 98% of them are unconscious. Um, and so what I aim to give you in this what section is some influence over those unconscious decisions. Because you just imagine if you made decisions that were 5% more in line with your true values and your true sense of worth and your true mission and vision and what you really wanted out of life, just 5% more in each of those 38,000 decisions. Imagine the compounding effect over just one day of how much more directed towards what you truly want or your compass, as I call it, and draw it. Um, imagine how much closer to that you could get every day. And then we've got the how. 
how do I do it? Right. Well, I know what I should be doing. Um, I've made a clear decision and I'm very happy with the decision. <clears throat> I know why I'm doing it. It's totally aligned to who I am and what I truly want more than anything else in the world. I'm still not bloody doing it. Why? How do I do it? How do I get it done? And I don't mean in terms of strategy. I don't mean in terms of what are the steps. You're smart. You're intelligent. You can figure that out. I can help you if you want, but we're better spent. We're better um, served spending our time looking at procrastination. Why am I procrastinating? And I'll give you a little hint. For most people that come to me, it's to do with this guy here, fear of failure. So I aim to go through this roadmap with you, not bit by bit, step by step, you know, ignoring whatever's going on for you in the moment and um, ignoring whatever problems have come up for you since we last talked. We will use those problems, as it says at the bottom here, we will use those problems um, that have come up for you since we've last talked or that are most present and pertinent and painful and or inspiring in your life right now. We use those as real life examples um, to run through these techniques, to run through these habits with. So you're having your cake and eating it. You're getting what you want in the now, in the present, and you're also learning through experience, learning through doing, how to give this sense of completeness and satisfaction and flow through life over and over and over again. It's a pretty big have your cake and eat it. And then we go on to the session itself. So this will be a 60 to 90 minute session. I take my notes over here. Yay. Make sure everything's aligned with your, your compass and your why up here. Yay. And then you come out of each session with the most important takeaway. We narrow it down to one. You're going to have 12 most important takeaways in big, massive writing come the end of this. I think you'll be surprised at how valuable that is. A journal, you'll come away with a journaling um, topic or question most weeks, most sessions. Some takeaway steps for little old me. So I remember to maximize the value you get from each session. Um, your accountability experiment, the big one. What are you going to do? What am I going to keep you accountable for? Uh, what, what, it's, what are you going to do that's right on the edge of your comfort zone that you come out of the session with? That's where the party is. Habits. What habits are you going to track in these metrics over here? Um, what resources am I going to set up for you to, and this slide leads us nicely on to, the between session timeline. Watch this video here. It's 20 minutes long. You can split it into a couple of parts. It explains this in much greater detail. This is essentially where the rubber meets the road. This is where we take what's happened in the session, the insights you've had in the session, and we double the hell down on them. Most importantly, the accountability experiment. When's that due? You can move this um, to, to see when it's due. Um, the reminder, this is to deal with the procrastination involved of the accountability experiment. You ask yourself some questions to get you back into drive and out of fear. Um, I will link to your session recordings. I record all the sessions just by audio. I'll link to them down here so you can take some notes when that day arises. I will fill in this resource box so that you have a nice video or audio or article to read that's very related to what you're going through and what we're learning. Um, and you can then um, write your notes on these lovely sticky notes and drag them onto this wonderful X, Y graph. And all sorts. There's all sorts in there. But this is this is yeah, this is where the rubber meets the road. And then we've got all your prep over here for the next session. And then your metrics, um, which again, I explain up in this video here. But whatever you're tracking, whatever habits you're tracking, you track on these tables. So imagine that all filled in. That only takes 10, 15 minutes a day for you to fill that in. Those, um, those between session bits of blobs. Um, imagine this times 12, you know? Imagine the value of that times 12. I've done all the heavy lifting for you. 
all you have to do is, is uh, well, do. Alrighty, I'll speak to you when I speak to you.